Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the 26th of September. Been pouring down rain all morning. Seems like it's kind of mellowed out here for a little bit. And depending on what direction you look, it actually looks pretty nice. But one thing we're going to do right now is we're going to go in and throw some foot pegs, passenger pegs, on the slim. So let's go do that. Nice out here. It's like 64. Feels pretty good at the moment. I think I see a major problem right off the get-go here. So this is a unique issue to the slim apparently just because the exhaust placement so if you look <clears throat> if you didn't have this stacked exhaust like this you would use this upper hole you'd pull that plug out and use that upper hole so it would come out obviously I can't use that hole because the exhaust is in the way so they put one on the bracket exhaust bracket see that's the whole exhaust bracket going through there and that's what I'm attached to but down down in here if you can see that so I'm gonna be geez inch and a half farther out on the right hand side than the left you got to use the lower hole on this side but it's gonna be farther in that just seems like there's not gonna be enough room for you well I guess it probably stick out let me uh let me pull the plug and stick the thing on there and see what it looks like. There ain't nothing to them. You stick a bolt in them. The tricky part is, if you guys have never done this before, is dealing with the uh, the uh, springs. I do a little. Oh, they're all in the bag. The spring. There's a clip that goes inside here, so that it rides. It. Oh, there it all is right there. Nice stainless steel clip that inserts in here, and then there's the spring and ball bearing that spring has way more energy than you can imagine so uh that'll be a little tricky all right so i bought a second set of those pittsburgh quarter inch uh, little torque bits because they extend a little bit it's a good thing i bought those i think it was one of the last times i was there um do you see a problem here? I don't have a 3 8 torque bit long enough. So these things are 38 to 48 foot pounds, but this extension will go in there. So be mindful of that you need some longer, <laughs> some longer uh, Torx bits to fit in the hole, because the regular socket bottoms out in in this hole the outer hole <laughs> one thing after another this morning all right so here's where things get a little tricky you got to here's the insert for the pegs the stainless steel insert is mounted in there and there's your little ball bearing detents the up and down detents and this spring <laughs> If I can get this thing so I can do this with one hand, you're gonna have the spring in that hole and then the ball bearing on the top. Well, that spring has a tremendous amount of energy and it's gonna not wanna get squeezed while I'm sliding that in there. So what you do is use a fairly thick feeler gauge and try to guide that ball bearing in there. Don't let it shoot out your your pin pivot hole all right let me get some white lithium grease on here and uh try my little feeler gauge ball bearing trick here and see if it works all right if i come back and you see the camera shaking everywhere and you see a glow of red coming from the chrome from my face that's me being mad these things absolutely can be tricky and um yeah stuff will fly if you make a mistake <laughs> All right, be right back. There she is. Easy peasy. First try, slid right in. The old feeler gauge always works. See, it's got a nice, nice detent. And look at that, the Harley badge and shield on the one side. 
and that sticks out far. I mean, my my feet will be perfectly fine on this side. I was thinking I'd be too close to the to the derby cover. I will have to be mindful. You can see where I'm kind of wearing a little spot in here because I always ride with the ball of my foot on the back of the peg and the side of my boot rubs on there. So uh, as I'm riding, i got to be mindful that I'm doing that. You can see I'm starting to put little wear marks in it. But that's all right. That just adds patina to her. All right, let's get the peg on the other side. There she is. Right and left sides installed. I love that nice precision sound to them. So I sat on them, and um, man, I, I don't notice a difference in them at all. I mean, you just you're just not going to notice it. Don't notice it when you're sitting on it either. And I think I'm kind of glad I ended up with the lower um, positions there too, because when I'm sitting on it, it has like just this perfect feeling to it feels really good so I'll be very happy with that super happy heck yeah I'm droning down the freeway times that's very comfortable to have my feet either straight below me or or back a bit especially back the way this iron is set up is just absolutely perfect that just feels like a naked sport bike not aggressive just feels really good the bars being low the way your body fits on the bike perfect that's what I thought these pegs were I thought they're just gonna be the regular old plain round ones but um these are quite nice with the Harley badging on the back and heck yeah just the plain rubber ones nothing fancy do not want anything fancy I mean got plain Jane floorboards Plain Jane grips and everything. That's just perfect. That's what I want. Keep it simple. Keep it real, real simple. Yep. That would be a soft tail slim you hear rumbling back there. We're going to risk it. It's like a 38% chance of rain. It looks like I got about <clears throat> 50 minutes before it's supposed to really come down. Of course, I don't know what's been spotting the road since, uh, you know, a bit. Oh, wasn't reaching far enough to put it in gear. See you here in a little bit. <laughs> I will. Always a pleasure to ride on the slim. All right, let's go for a rip. Man, this just couldn't be any more perfect. You guys that spend any time racing dirt, especially street, will realize how much control your legs have in the handling of the motorcycle. A shocking amount. And man, I got a west wind, so I'm heading headlong, heading west, going straight into it. And um, oh man, the difference is mind boggling. How you can use your legs to take the stress off of your back when you're facing that wind. And you can just let go of the bars, nothing's dragging me back, even though I have this wind pressure hitting me. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's the way a motorcycle is supposed to be. Absolutely perfect. I just love that it's crazy windy out here which is probably going to bring whatever's coming is coming from the west I see a squall line back there it's not <laughs> it's not very promising oh you know what the other thing too I can probably stand up a lot easier because a five gallon tank fattens it up a little bit I mean I can stand up on this thing okay but still you know your legs are trying to bow around the bigger tank that the uh, slim has slim basically has the touring tank on it and it was more for look they there wasn't any attentions to tour on this thing, but boy, they're just look at them. Even on the weekend, they're down here messing with this thing. In case you guys haven't figured out, I'm I decided I want to come down here and see if this bridge is open. I guess I could have looked at 
Google or Apple Maps if it was a uh, there's a construction sign oh oh that's not that says in construction that's referring to the bridge we're gonna find out here in a second because there'll be a sign right around the corner here it'll say nope you're wasting your time boy turn around it's kind of promising to see look at that guarantee that's an abandoned camper what is that Ooh, the buffalo were out remember the other day we were through here there was no buffalo they must have been hiding i don't think it was very nice that what was i on the bmw i don't think that was a very pleasing day that day was it oh Thank you, Harley. Thank you for making these pegs. I sure thought that was going to be a cobbled up mess there to start with. I thought, man, there's got to be a little bracket that goes between those two. If you guys ever put the rear pegs on Sportsters, you know, they got the, the brackets that kind of sneak in and grab a hold of the frame. With those two bolts sitting around the swing arm pivot, I'm thinking there's got to be a bracket that's supposed to go there. Oh yeah, there's car. Oh yeah, it's open. Ah dang! Son of a gun, man! All that wind pressure. And look, I can use my legs. I can put my hands to add some more resistance. That probably hit my. No, nope, missed the lens. A lot big old bug. Ah, and it just feels so natural when you're uh, riding it too. Ooh, look at this first time across the new bridge yeah look at this we gotta whoop whoop we gotta check this thing out oh yeah that's nice Ooh, wee. I don't have to worry about no potholes in this one that old wooden thing they kept pavement over it and the holes would develop I went across there I think on my 1200 low and they had patched it and did a good job, thought they did. Not come bombing through there. About seat bounced me right out of that thing. Look at that, that makes this so much easier to come up here and play. <laughs> yeah. That's a good day. Made the slim feel almost like a sport bike. Wish the ship lever was a little closer so I didn't have to reach forward about two feet to get to it i'm not worried about the rear brake because the uh, 95 percent of your stopping power is right there in that little lever right there it's not linked like the touring models but it uh it is abs in case you well if you need abs you need, <laughs> you need to train way way more abs should be a safety thing and a like in a really weird situation oh yeah look what's coming from the west we need to i'm just gonna scoot take the back roads to uh to what oh maybe one lock's not not the best place to go but anyway i'm just gonna scoot and come out i wouldn't plan on any kind of goofing around lengthy whatever i just wanted to take this thing for a ride after putting them on Ooh. bugs are out there today you guys still clear? Yeah, looks like you are. All right. How's the old choo-choo situation today? Ooh, that's looking dark towards Winlock. I have that posture like I'm on the iron. It almost feels like the iron, it's just the pegs are a little lower. <laughs> See the rabbit run across? Ribbit, rabbit. Rippity rabbit. Oh, look at this. The fall color is starting to... Well, at least it's hitting the ground. Whatever was pretty in the trees, all the wind and rain knocked that out. But as you can see, there's a lot of green to, uh, to still change. Hey, look. All those uh, car haulers are gone. Yeah, all of them are gone. There's just a... Uh, it's like one or two tankers sitting there. I think this thing's dry enough to go across. Because <clears throat> I'd like to see what the uh, South Mountain tracks are doing. Oh, got a green. Mm. 
It's not muddy here. You watch us. I'll sit here for a second, wait for a train, and it'll cause me to get caught in the rain. The train caused the rain. Oh yeah, that's some Aryan. Absolutely love them pegs. Makes you feel like a real motorcycle now. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like my floorboards. But my preferred stance is back there. I think we're going to have to risk it. I can't. I mean, that's that's moving in fairly quick. Let's see if we can make it. If I don't, who cares? Come on, Slim. You know, it even like over stuff like this, because you can use your legs to uh, to transfer your body weight, literally steer the motorcycle. All of that's gone when your feet are up front in the clamshell. Completely gone. Listen to that wind. That's incredible. Everything is turning so green out here. Way doggy. Yeah, that rain's coming, boy. I need to rip. Need to rip and head east. Lost our sun already. I knew I would. I knew I was heading right into them clouds. Man, a lot of stuff's hitting my helmet. With all the leaves on the bridge, isn't that incredible? Yeah, you can stand on them, but it makes me uh makes me tilt forward quite a bit. <laughs> it's kind of a weird feeling. I mean I'm like like standing up with my body almost <laughs> laying flat. It works though. southbound right we've definitely had, we've definitely had them green lights fool us before though haven't we all right I can't be messing around here too much out there kitty 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 we gotta stop right here. Cause here comes our train. And he's gonna be on this track too. That might even scare me a little bit. Oh yeah, he's moving right along too. I like it when he's, look at that old Santa Fe, man. That thing looks, ooh. Oh, I love it when it's a, a mixed up train. That's not rain I'm seeing, is it? Yes, that's rain. All right. I'm not gonna get myself wet. I know this thing needs a bath, but <coughs> I don't want to give it that kind of bath. I think we got the end of it right here anyway. I knew it. I told you, I told you. You guys didn't listen. <laughs> I'm even gonna forego going around my my favorite little building there. It's not going anywhere. We've all been around at a, a time or 100. Time or 200. I like it, they still got the flags out everywhere. Look how beautiful it is. 
I just absolutely love that look of leaves on the ground. Now, see if we can get far enough east. Because that thing looks... I think it's just going straight east, so... We can probably get in front of it. Ooh, that was a good gust of wind. Yeah, look at that flag. So it's kind of... It's traveling in a northeast direction, which is perfect. And the rain will come, my friend. The rain will come. I've finally outrun the uh, the rain. But it's closing in. You just see just some dark skies behind me. But anyway, look, it's even starting to dry off on its own just from the wind. But uh, thanks for coming along for the, uh, the foot peg test ride. If you guys like your pegs, feet position. Good lord, I thought that was a coyote standing there. It's a dog. Holy moly. But uh, if you like your, your feet in a normal motorcycle position, uh, don't hesitate to buy the Harley foot pegs. They are really nice and that puts you just in the, the most natural kind of sport bike kind of a feeling. It's just where, you know, you can steer with your legs. You have that control back. And you can control, you know, yourself. I almost pushed myself forward. You can control yourself against the, the blast of wind. I don't mind riding without a windshield, but when you're in that clamshell, thing too that's brutal brutal but anyway i'm gonna ride on the rest the way up the hill and go see the mama and get this thing away before that rainstorm hits all right we'll see you here in a bit well hello there youtube <laughs> so i just got home Grabbed my uh, camera I was using to film the bike with, my Hero 8, and uh, I told Kelly, I said, rain's coming, let's just go out there and do a goodbye, that way we can do it out of the rain. Mm-hmm. Well, there's water spots all over the, all over the slim. It's a coming. We didn't beat it, it's coming. Yep. So I need to get it in. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thanks for uh, hanging out, goofing around with the foot pegs, and not much of the mama today. Were you? I don't think we even talked to you yet this it's morning. It's all now. right. I'm just hiding. <laughs> She's stuck in a series zoo. Yeah. You guys ever seen that series? That's good. Then I can see that thing and hear it from my desk. So half the time I'm like What's leaning and looking on? through the door going, that gummit woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sucks me in so much so I don't watch it during the week because, I mean, you get obsessed. Okay, next episode, next episode. Yeah. So you got to wait for the weekend. Crazy woman. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thanks for hanging out today, doing a little goofing around with the Slim. Very fun ride on the Slim. It was a quick pass-through kind of a ride, but that's all right. 506 is back open again. Which is very cool. The bridge looks awesome. They did a great job. Took them forever, but yeah. the, the thing happened. It slowed everything down. And it's about that amount of time late, too. Yeah. So, things happen been a weird year <laughs> but we're gonna bounce all righty well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give her a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing sunday or monday i can't start to come down pretty good now. i know <laughs> all right we'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye. thanks again bye bye now